Hello there guys, and as always, this is Trey the Explainer, and today I thought I would make a special video featuring something that needs to be known and needs your help. Something that isn't extinct but will be if it doesn't get help soon. Who the heck wrote that stupid line? I want to talk about something I hold dear to my heart, a game called Surian, and talk about what it is, how it is completely awesome, and why you should totally support it now. For those that are familiar with my channel, you might have heard that I sometimes bring up and reference Surian, you know, just a little bit. but. I haven't really had an in-depth talk about it. Well, let's break that silence today. Soarin' is a new and still developing video game centered on dinosaurs. But it isn't your average Jurassic Park mobile game. Yuck. I truly believe this game is something very special. And before I explain why, let me just explain what the game is. Soarin' is an open world action survival game, where the player will be able to step into the shoes of four playable dinosaurs living out their natural lives in the real life Hell Creek Formation, one of, if not the best preserved Cretaceous fossil beds in the world. You will start the game as a defenseless hatchling, and must survive to adulthood by avoiding many of the countless perils that await you in Hell Creek. From not only crocodilians, giant lizards, basically flying giraffes, and, yes, even T-Rex, but also the environment itself. You will get to step into the shoes of both the predators and the prey, as the game will let you choose between playing as a Pachycephalosaurus, Triceratops, Dakota Raptor, and yes, the famous T-Rex. Each dinosaur carrying their own unique attributes and traits. Some dinosaurs are faster, some dinosaurs are slower, some are stronger, and some are just downright terrifying. As an animal, you must hunt, eat, sleep, drink, mate, and do whatever the heck this is in order to survive in your environment. That is almost entirely unpredictable. I conducted an interview with the project's leader, Nick Terranetti, and I'll just let him take it from here. So, essentially, gameplay is never stagnant. You're always getting a new experience as you live longer and survive longer. Um, and I think the other big thing to take away is that... Um, eventually, the goal is that the environment should be as big a challenge to survive as the other animals living in it, you know, you know, that this isn't just a static world that you exist in. This world is dynamic. This world has, you know, threats and opportunities in it that you can exploit or avoid um, just as easily as you have to avoid an, a predator or a rival. Even by just growing up, the player must adapt his or her playing style to differences in growth stages. The game is almost entirely unpredictable and allow the players to have a unique experience almost every single time. The game will be filled with literally dozens of species of NPCs, all of which were real and would have been encountered in the real Hell Creek. It will have everything from the smallest lizards of Hell Creek to the largest sauropods, from mosasaurs to the beautiful anatosaurus to the extremely threatening T-Rexes. And let me just be the first to say that these are the best dinosaur models, designs, graphics, and just all-around depictions I've ever seen in a video game, and probably in pop culture in general. And it's not like these are fantasy designs. Nick explains everything that is in the game has a scientific basis, from the bizarre nasal pouch of the sauropod to the spiny tail of Pachycephalosaurus to the coloration of all the animals of Hell Creek. All of them have some scientific basis and are the most accurate depictions of prehistoric animals in alignment to what we currently know about the period. They are absolutely beautifully modeled and designed, but they are also equally beautiful and organically animated. Just look at that animation. Look at it. And guess what? And, and what? it's really, he's, he's really an awesome person from the sense that, like, he's a self-taught animator. He didn't go to school to learn any of these. He didn't, you know, um take a class or anything like that. This is literally just Brian in his spare time watching his emu, you know, noting how it moves, how its mannerisms are, and then taking that and, you know, imparting it to an animal that's, you know, a relative of the emu, but hasn't been any, you know, they haven't been the same thing for a hundred million years or more. And that's, that's really cool. What? What I love most and admire about the team is their strive for accuracy and realism. This is flat out the most accurate and realistic game regarding prehistory to date. And just listen to Nick explain the painstaking detail he and his team has put into making this game as accurate and real to science as possible. Oh boy. Um, I think um, I think after I'm done with Saurian, I will never, ever, ever want to look at um, Hell Creek plants ever again <laughs> because uh between uh tom parker and myself uh we've done probably hundreds of hours of research um on plants and literally literally we have dozens of papers that deal just with plants i think just about without fail every day i've done something 
Saurian related in that time, whether it's reading a paper or collaborating with other teammates and, you know, talking with um, even publishing paleontologists, because we've developed some really fantastic uh, relationships and communications with um, people who are actually out in the field digging up fossils and are studying fossils in museums and publishing about them. And I think that's one of the things I'm most proud of from researching is that I've been able to reach out and make these connections and our game has benefited from it in a way that's mutually beneficial both to us and um, these paleontologists because um, they we've had people you know talk to us and say hey you guys are doing something that's really unique you're doing something that's that's a that's a melding of entertainment and um, scientific education that that we desperately need in 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 science in general not just in paleontology and it's it's really really good it feels really really good to know that we're kind of pushing that um that new frontier in how entertainment and science kind of collaborate Everything in the game has a scientific basis, and never are they simply making up crap as they go. From even just the leaf shape of the tiniest plant, to the type of scales or something on the animals, to the coloration of them, they want to depict the truth about the world that came before us. But they do it in a way that is both fun and accurate at the same time, and I just find it amazing to think that every single experience in the game a player can have, could have absolutely happened in real life. Isn't it awesome just to think stories just like yours could have actually happened? And most of all, I admire and love this project for what it has done for the paleontological community as a whole, and for what it stands for, the truth. Sorin has developed relationships with real paleontologists and have made their findings and studies more available and more digestible for the public. I can't tell you how much I've learned from simply listening and following the Sorin project's development. Yes, me, the dinosaur man. I've learned that T-Rex's bit each other on the face a lot. I learned that Hell Creek was so far north that it would have spent hours of daytime in complete darkness. I learned that frickin' giant lizards ate dinosaurs in the Hell Creek. I can't tell you how much I've learned personally from, the pro from this project. And that is what I think is the most important thing about this game, is that it isn't just a game. It's a new and revolutionary way of spreading information and facts about prehistory in a fun and interactive format. Video games are the new form of educating the next generation, and people need to understand that it's not just for kids, but for everyone, to learn things in a way that they love. And I think Soaring will be a groundbreaking presentation to making learning about the past, learning about dinosaurs, and learning about the truth in a fun way that people will love and enjoy learning about it. He doesn't believe that there's any possible way we could convey information and make it tangible to people the way that we can with a video game like Saurian. There's, there's just no way that you can replicate being able to um, do instead of just be told, you know. Um, and that's one of the things that, that I was a teacher for. I actually taught in, in schools for about a year. And nothing ever comes close to giving somebody the ability to experience something as opposed to trying to tell them about it. And I think... I think, you know, we're one example of how you can make something as old and boring as, as, as you know, bones and, and fossil leaves and dirt into something that's real and alive and that is just as gorgeous or, you know, just as complex as anything you can walk out into the modern world and see. I always think of walking with dinosaurs when I think of Saurian. When I was a kid, I absolutely was addicted to walking with dinosaurs, and I can't get it out of my head. But as I grew older, I noticed that it taught me so much about prehistory and dinosaurs, and was probably the very thing that got me fascinated with paleontology in the first place. I think Saurian will do the same for a ton of people, and teach hundreds if not thousands about scientific facts and theories about dinosaurs no one would have learned on their own. Because no one wants to read a scientific document about it, people want to live it and have fun learning about it. So please, viewers, support this game on Kickstarter. It needs your help to keep such a promising and amazing project alive, because I think it will not only be fun to play and experience, but it would be a benefit to the scientific community and allow so many people to be open up to learning about our past, a past that they can experience for themselves, a past ruled by dinosaurs. Oh yeah, if you guys are able to raise enough money, we can get Forest Fires multiplayer in VR. Holy crap!